Hi, uh, I'm Ryan Carter, the uh, city editor for the San Bernardino Sun. I'm here with Jim Steinberg, our Fontana reporter. And uh, we're here to talk a little bit about why a particular story that Jim's been working on matters. And uh, so, Jim, I'm just looking at uh, some of the proofs of this story, which is publishing in the paper. And I see here that the lead says, the Fontana Unified School District went on a cautious spending spree this week, restoring personnel and services to the tune of about $6.5 million. Let's talk a little bit about that. Tell us why that spree matters. Well, it, uh, it, it signifies that the district, which was in deep financial trouble last year, which they were, I um, mean, it, it wasn't an immediate fear, but they were already talking about the possibility, if they didn't get things under control, of, of the state taking over the district. And the, the board was really kind of scared last year, and they did some serious cutting. The counselors was the, the biggest item that got the most publicity, but there were lots of programs that got cut and lots of people from clerical and just uh, administrative folks, very, very low on the totem pole, but it all added up to, to save money. And so they're, they're starting this year in a, in a, in a, in a better position. They, uh, uh, they had some uh, carryover funds uh, in categorical funding, which are restricted to certain use. So they, on paper, they have like $38 million in the bucket, but it's, it's, it's really not like in the bank anywhere. And there's a lot of footnotes to that figure. There's, there's money that they borrowed to make it through last year that they begin will have to start paying this year on. Mm -hmm. So that, that, that's why they, they cautiously went ahead and, and said, well, let's bring some things back. And one of the things they, they brought back, the biggest single item was, was in uh, the, uh, the, the building maintenance and uh, janitorial, just, just kind of sprucing up the place and fixing roofs and air conditioners and, and things like that, that they kind of kind of let slide during uh, some lean times. So it wasn't just last year, it was, it's, been, it's been the past couple of years. And uh, the other thing they did was, was and, and this is getting into the area of some controversy, it's on the counselors. They, instead of kind of recalling counselors on seniority basis, the, the board and the district have kind of created two new categories that are counselors, but they don't call them that. And they, and they make up uh, names for them, and, and they're not bringing people back based on seniority. And it's, it's upsetting to uh, the union. It's upsetting to uh, uh, some of the union members, not, not just counselors. And yes, some counselors have, have definitely working again. It was good to see some of the folks I talked to that, that uh, frankly were up in their years, in their 50s, with many decades of uh, really good school experience that they didn't know what they would be doing with the rest of their lives. They're too young to retire, but they're, they're really kind of up there to, to get into a new field, you know? And, and they've been rehired back under, under uh, position 30, 30 jobs that were created in July. And then uh, this week they created another 15 new jobs. 15? Uh, I'm sorry, 12. 12. Okay. Uh -huh. 12. 12 and, and yet another category of, of Quasi counselors are these. These are geared for uh, advising people on their career choices, which is something counselors do. That's their job. And and the the, the thirty that I spoke about earlier, they were for at-risk students. Well, counselors deal with kids who are having trouble either at home or in school or a combination of both. And it's just kind of an odd way to bring back the sixty-eight. But they're uh, and, but it is it is positive. That's that's more jobs and they're. They're definitely students that need counseling for their careers and, and advice on what schools to apply to and you know, what courses they'll need to get into these schools and, mm -hmm. and, and, to, and, and, and to be eligible to, to compete uh, when they get in undergraduate years for careers like engineering and nursing and medicine and uh, et cetera. Got it. Yeah. Jim, thanks. Well, thank you, Ryan.